The intensity here is a very good sign. You're not fighting to be right, you're fighting for your lives. Deeper, right? Scarier. Joe, can you think of any times when you felt as violent as you did toward love in your fight? A few. I'm not a violent person. What if sometimes you are? What if that's normal? I don't want to hurt anyone. I believe you. So what's the feeling under the rage? Fear. Fear that. Joe, stay with the violent thoughts. You're broken. I could never love you. You're great. What did you do? What did you do? If someone sees me. Why does she look like that? I had to remove her teeth. If someone sees the real me, they'll go away for good. What about you, love? When else have you felt the way that Joe makes you feel? <gasps> when I feel... protective. What are you fighting to protect? My family. Why specifically family? Because that's what you do. What do you get from your family? I don't know. Your family is supposed to love you unconditionally. Why is that so important? Why does love have to be unconditional? Because if anyone saw How ugly I can be. They'll go away for good. Fair to say, one of the things you have in common is fear of abandonment so deep it feels downright kill or be killed, metaphorically speaking. When our patterns line up like this, it's very, very hard to see the other person because it's dangerously close to looking in a mirror. We're talking about the worst things, so why do I feel relief? So how are we, um, I'm sorry, Joe and I, supposed to make this work. That's the perfect word, work, because that's what it takes. Like, of unconditional, there's no such thing. There's agreeing to show up the best we can. In the best marriages, each partner challenged the other every day to be a better version of themselves. Sounds like a lot of fighting. Sure, but is all fighting bad? Maybe this isn't two opponents in a ring. Maybe this is two on the same team fighting for the same thing. That sounds good. Having someone on my team. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. There you go. You know what else they don't tell you about teammates? The sex is better. Like, don't bother to describe it to your unmarried friends better. It's a passion fueled by the deepest trust, and it's fucking primal.